Hey folks, welcome to another Triple T Thursday. For those just joining us, that's Tools, Tips, and Talk, where I talk about stuff that interests me and hopefully interests you. In this week's episode, we're going to continue the forge build, mostly the burner, um, and I'll show you guys the burner actually running, so I'm pretty excited about that. Uh, I think I still need some tweaking on the burner, but uh, so far it looks pretty promising. Uh, also going to go into a bit of the forge um, build, uh, and hopefully, um, I don't think I'll finish it off this weekend, uh, or this week, but uh, soon you're going to see the whole casing and everything done, uh, and I hope to be using it pretty soon. So uh, stay tuned, and uh, check out the burner and, uh, and some of how the forge was built. So this is the top of the forge. It turns out that that um, um, caulking stuff that I have uh, is not really good for, it's good for sealing cracks. It's not really good to be an adhesive. So these things don't stay together. If you pick one up, it'll kind of snap in two. Um, so what I want to do for the top is I put this in a mold. I'm actually going to pour Mizu refractory all over it. I actually want it to be a little higher anyway. Uh, and you'll see there's a, a nice gap because the, um, the bricks aren't wide enough this way, so I actually want it a little wider anyway. So I've drilled holes with just a spade bit in all of the bricks just so that the Mizu is actually going to go into it. And then I've got, um, what is that, uh, just more than a quarter inch on each side, so it'll have walls to it as well. So this should be, make it super solid. It should come up three quarters of an inch, almost an inch. And uh, that'll be the bottom, so it'll be easy to lift the top up and down, and it'll be, have a nice solid base of Mizu on the bottom. So I'm just going to mix it up, pour it over that, and uh, we should be good to go. And folks, if you've ever made concrete or mixed concrete, it's much easier to add this to water than add water to this. And that's the consistency I want. So I just took the mold off the burner and uh, it looks pretty good. It's been uh, two days, yeah, about two days. Um, a couple of the straws came out with the uh, with taking this off and then I'll just take the rest out like this. Okay, here's the first startup of the ribbon burner. Let's see how it goes. Might be a little loud. Well, not quite as powerful as I had hoped. Um, I think the problem is the gas isn't mixing, uh, doesn't have enough time to mix in here. And what I've seen other people do is <clears throat> add a baffle in here that spins everything as the gas is getting injected. I'm also seeing that um, the gas, I had the gas at about 15, which um, seemed really, really high um, for this. So I'm not sure if it's the MIG tip that I have or that's reducing it, or I need a baffle. So I'm gonna try the MIG tip first and see if that makes a difference. Okay, here goes test number two. Well, three, I guess.
So I took the MIG tip off. That made a huge difference. Definitely a lot more gas flow going in there. So that's one of the issues. Um, then I made this, which is just kind of makes the air spin, both the spin one way, spin the other way to mix it up. And I'm just going to put this baffle in there. So that should mix it up um, before it gets down to this corner and then before it gets to the... Um, the burner so let's try that out and see if that works you guys see that that's about half a psi and it'll run even better when it's enclosed uh, and when it's hot um, if i turn up the gas or sorry the air a little bit you'll see how the cones move out but if it was an enclosed forge and that was hot uh, that would look even better Still half a PSI. Well, folks, I think that worked pretty well. Um, it'll be interesting to see it in an enclosed space. And once the forge heats up, um, you know, I'm not seeing as much force come out of the burner as I'm used to, but I think that's okay. Um, we'll see when I put it in the forge. Thanks for joining me on this Triple T Thursday. Um, stay tuned this Sunday for the build. Uh, where I'm going to finish off the chef knife that I've been working on. Uh, it's coming out really well, so stay tuned for that. Remember, please like and subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and we'll see you on the next one.